Good afternoon, YouTube world. Admiral Preparedness here. Just got back from doing some shopping today for some items for my long-term and short-term SHTF pantry. Well, interesting note, these were a dollar. This is cinnamon. We all know what that's for. A dollar, three ounces, packaged in the United States. We all know what that is, garlic salt. The garlic's good for you. You want to make sure you get garlic while you're hunkered down or bunkered down. This is 6.5 ounces for a, nut, for a dollar. We always need something for a sweet tooth. So we have this. You all know what these are. Your peppermint starlights. Naturally flavored. They are sugar, of course. But it has 60 calories. Zero trans fat. Zero sodium. And 11 grams of sugars. But that's okay. These, uh, these will store very well under vacuum. And... And after dinner mint is always nice to have. <clears throat> well, that didn't happen to be in here, but we need one of these, so I had to get one. But, uh, you know, hey, uh, you need, if you don't have a septic system and you're running on a city sewer system, you might want to use one of these guys because uh, you might lose something and you can retrieve it. So that was an extra. Didn't mean to have it in the bag. <clears throat> And Italian seasonings. I'm telling you something. Anytime you get some piece of meat, you want to put some seasoning on it. This is the good stuff. And last but not least, I wasn't really looking for these, but what the hey. They're individual storage containers. They have the little cap and seal on them. I like to get these guys because when we go places, I don't want to take a whole bunch of something. Oh, we need a couple. These are FAA approved for bringing on aircraft. They meet the requirements for, you wouldn't want to take a full thing of this, but by Joby, be okay if you took something like this. And that snaps, so it's not going to spill. I'd probably put a piece, a couple pieces of cellophane tape, or rubber, yeah, cellophane tape, so that way it doesn't accidentally open up in your luggage, but it is stackable. So you can stack them, so you could travel like this and say when you come when you when you're bringing something back home, you could put something in them or use them for those small items that you always find yourself uh, coming across. <clears throat> that was one store, and that's uh, six items for six dollars. Not bad. Of course, we don't call that an item. So five items for five dollars. And the next place, this is quite the treat, folks. We all know who this company is. These were a dollar each, and that's 20 ounces of pure cane sugar by a reputable manufacturer. You don't want to open the seal, break the seal. Of course, this has a Best Buy date of 12, 14 November 2019, which, you know, that's, that's horse patookie. Now, these guys here, see, now, what's funny is, on the packaging, it's called extra virgin olive oil, right? You see that, right? Extra virgin olive oil. Product of the USA, 8.5 fluid ounces, a dollar. And when you look at the ingredients, well, I have to get a magnifying glass because my goby is so small I can't see it. But once again, olive oil is not soybean oil. See, they've got it called soybean oil. Now, I'm having a serious problem 
thinking that these people mislabeled uh, <clears throat> this uh, this product. So what I'm going to do is get out my. Everybody should have one of these in your wallets. And the reason why I say that is because this guy here is a magnifying glass. As you can tell now, this is a fire starter. So I keep one in my wallet on a sunny day. I can start a fire. But the ingredients, they're calling this. Like me, soybean oil 94% pure soybean oil, 8% extra virgin olive oil. So, Best Buy 1117. So, what you have here is a labeling issue that you know you have to. Be aware of when it comes to certain items that you find in these businesses. Now, anywhere on that packaging outside of the small lettering, it says extra virgin olive oil blend. So, what's to tell you that that's soybean oil? by majority, and then a smidgen of olive oil. They're not lying. They are using the right lettering and the right wordage because it is extra virgin olive oil. The trouble is, it's in quantity. So basically what this is, is soybean oil. Now I didn't buy it for the fact that it says extra virgin olive oil. I wanted you to know that when you read your labels, you put this back. Because you want extra virgin olive oil. you thinking you're getting 100%. But when the word blended came on there. So this is pretty much just something to go on a salad. And you might want to cook some noodles and saute some uh, some onions and some, uh, you know, good, good for use right away. But don't put this for long term because it's not pure. Uh, soybean, oil, uh, soybean oil does have a long shelf life. But something I wouldn't want to depend on, especially since plastic. And I'd reuse the containers. I wouldn't throw those away. But what I really went there for today <clears throat> was for these. We all know what these are. If you haven't used these, you haven't been, <laughs> you haven't been alive, living, living long enough to know what these are even for. But these have a thousand and one uses. Now, I'm going to let you folks out there ponder what you would use these for in a SHTF. Uh, event uh, down in the comments section you know uh, what we're gonna do is have a little giveaway and uh, we're gonna give something away I'll, I'll, I'll come up in the next few days and give you a, a, a random item that you can try to win if you can give me the most not silly but the most practical uses for what these are I'm gonna tell you what they are but if you haven't, if you don't have a clue what these are, it, it'll end up. Don't cheat and look it up on the internet. Uh, but just uh, <laughs> let's see, let's see if you can come up with a, a a novel use for these that's in the SHTF family, and uh, we'll see what you guys can do out there because I'm curious. Um, that should do it for today, folks. Have a great time. Good luck, and come on. Come down here and give me some comments now. Let's see if you guys can do that for me. Bye.